joining us for a very quick uh, conversation, Methal Nair. Well, Methal Nair is an Israeli actress who has also served in the Gaza Strip uh, in 2015 as a commander. Methal, thanks a lot for joining us uh, here on NewsX. My very first question to you, where currently uh, are you uh, in Israel and what's the situation right now where you are present? I'm currently in the center of Israel. I'm in Tel Aviv. And for now, we had a um, pretty quiet morning. It's 9, and 9 a.m. here. Um, yesterday and since Saturday, uh, there are rockets being sent to us from Gaza. Um, nearly 3,000 rockets. Um, yesterday, during the day, was um, alarms all day and rockets and we need to stay in the shelter. And it's where I am. I know that in the south of Israel and in the north of Israel, currently people cannot leave their house because there is missiles being sent to them and some occasions of uh, terrorists trying to cross the borders. Well, um, uh, Metal. also, are you receiving any advisory from the government as to what to do next? Yes, the instructions now is to not leave the house. Um, we are like this uh, since Saturday. Um, we are in a war. Um, it's really hard. It's a hard atmosphere here in Israel. Um, you know, it's a small country. Everyone knows someone who's been murdered, kidnapped, or injured. Um, for now, uh, we are, the instruction is to be in our houses um, because missiles are being sent to Israel um, nonstop. And also there is a, a fear that uh, something would develop around us. We are surrounded with more countries, more Arab countries. And now the border in the north with Hezbollah is pretty, there is a lot of tension there. Um, this is the instructions for now. We need to stay in a shelter, in a protected places. Um, I needed to move out of my apartment in Tel Aviv because I didn't have the proper um, shelter. Um, so there is a lot of people are, that are volunteering and uh, hosting other people in their houses, and um, that's it. Also, if you can just tell us, uh, what are you learning about your friends and family uh, in Israel? Uh, I mean, how are they holding up? It depends. Um, there is a lot of fear. People are really anxious. Um, you know, we are, we've been slaughtered because of nationality, so, and being Jews and our history, it has a lot of impact. And my family and friends are living a nightmare. This is what we feel. I also have um, friends that are still missing and that we haven't heard anything about them since Saturday, that we learned from videos and social media that they are currently in Gaza. No one knows or brought any news about them. I have one friend that was murdered uh, last Saturday while protecting his, his wife and eight years old, eight month old baby while terrorist was um, entering their house i feel that israel the atmosphere in israel now is really 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 hard i never saw the israeli society like this people are crying and really really anxious and on the other hand you see um a lot of people like a civilian uh, systems of uh, volunteer and bringing food for uh, families that got evacuated from their cities and helping uh, missing people families like the there is a lot of uh, 
the spirit is not gone. Like people are really trying to help each other to cope with it. I think there is a lot of fear because first of all, what we saw and what we witnessed, I don't think that anyone in the year of 2023 would imagine that he would uh, see and experience this kind of horrors and um, difficult videos of uh, people being butchered and being bandheaded and being raped. And it's really like you face evil, like you see, you see hard stuff. And I think it's really complicated because we already experienced something really hard in our history. And Israel is surrounded by a lot of countries that might decide now today to join hands and destroy destroy the country. So I think we are really, really, we have a real fear that we might not survive this war. Well, as we know, uh, you served as a commander uh, in Gaza in 2015. Uh, if you can just tell us uh, about your experience there and also what have you learned about Hamas militants? Um, I learned Hamas is a very cruel organization. Um, I learned that, unfortunately, is uh, putting the civilian in Gaza as a human shelter. Um, I experienced them murdering their competition there. It was the Fatah. Um, I learned that they have some connections to foreign countries like Iran and that they are not working alone. And unfortunately, I learned that they are not for their civilians. Like they uh, won a dem democratic election. Uh, I think it was 2000 and maybe 2006. And what they did with Gaza and with the money they got is just a disaster. Um, they are really cruel, they are really determined. And I know that they are they were planning this operation for many, many years. The only thing that I learned about Hamas that it's a terror organization and it will never, never take care of their people because if they were supposed to take care of their people, they would never do something like this. Uh, well, uh, Mittal, uh, horrific, harrowing footage has also been released by Hamas uh, in which uh, babies are being uh, held as uh, hostages uh, by the Hamas militants. Uh, you know, what do you think? How is the uh, government uh, going to navigate through this uh, horrific situation? We don't know. It's really complicated because yeah, I know that Hamas for now uh, is not negotiating the kidnapped people. And I think that our government would do whatever it can to bring back the kidnapped people. But actually, we don't know because we are at war now. And I, know, I don't know if our government will negotiate with terrorists. And I don't know what the world is seeing outside, but inside in Israel, we have witnessed some very hardcore photos and videos. I remember that I think on Sunday, in Sunday, I I saw um, a pictures of babies being held in a bird's cage in Gaza. For now, I think there is 60 children under the age of 18, babies, people that they are six years old, alone without their parents, their parents being murdered. Um, 
I wonder what our government will do with the kidnapped people. But for now, as long as there is a real threat on Israel, I'm not sure they're going to negotiate for them. But I don't know. I'm not an expert. And I hope that my friends will be home. Uh, Mithil, just the very last question. Uh, are you learning about any shortages of essential supplies uh, anywhere in Israel, uh, in the whole country? And also some problems, uh, uh, if there are any problems uh, in the hospital, because the air strikes have been continuing since the day one. No. Um... um we are um i think there is a, a shortage of maybe running like there is still a lot of missing people there is still a lot of bodies to identify and the people that were um evacuated and the people that were was witnessing and experiencing the survivors of this attack terror attack um on Saturday, um, they are the people that, for now, we are the citizens are taking care of them. So in this matter, uh, I think the government is not really um, coping with it because it's a massive. Like for now, for as we speak, we have uh, already. Um, uh, I think. 1,300 people that has been murdered and um, there is a lot of missing people so I think here the government is still uh, not coping with it really good but we have a uh, good good people and good civilians that they are doing it and build operations to help the families to host the families to try to identify the bodies and stuff like this but as hospitals and uh, food supplies and and I know weapon supplies, I think we are pretty, we are standing on our feet for now. I know in the beginning they recruit a lot of soldiers um, to the military and in the beginning there was uh, no helmets and no, not a lot of uh, army supply for the, for the soldiers, but I think in um, in something like 24 hours, civilians um, um, donate money and bat all the soldiers, everything they need. And um, I think that we are really united. The people in Israel are really united uh, with this enemy. Well, Mithil, thanks a lot for joining us on NewsX as we travel through the war hit Israel to report from the war zone. We will continue to bring all the latest updates uh, he here only on NewsX. Keep watching New uh, NewsX. Stay tuned. We will be just right back. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.